The oleander is a common Texas shrub that's known to be toxic to humans and animals. But now the plant is the basis of a new cancer-fighting drug that's showing great promise. Dr. Karen Johnson tells us more in today's Focus on Health. About a third of our drugs come from plants. Taxol from the Chinese yew tree, aspirin from the willow tree. Now, the oleander plant is the basis for a new drug to treat tumors. This 17-acre field west of San Antonio is the largest oleander field in the world. We'll take the leaves and we'll dehorn the plant, just like this. And we'll take this, makes the drug. Joel Curtis raises 10,000 plants, not for nurseries, but for a biotechnology company which uses it to make a cancer-fighting drug. The leaves of the oleander are harvested for a unique molecule called oleandrin. We know that the active ingredients get across into the brain, so tumors such as those, uh, such as glioblastoma, uh, certain uh, breast tumors have responded, and colon cancer as well. In the lab, the drug is selective for tumor cells, leaving normal cells intact. Grady Cage, who has prostate cancer that is spread to his hip bone, tested the drug. He found it especially helpful in tolerating the side effects of chemotherapy. In the last three cycles, I was main, most, mainly, uh, possibly sick, maybe once. Dr. Newman says studies in his lab show that the oleander-based drug is especially effective against tumors that are resistant to chemotherapy. He thinks the drug will be taken with chemotherapy. We think this is a novel therapy with a novel target. This is truly beyond a field of dreams. It is truly a field of life. Researchers at MD Anderson Hospital are hopeful that these natural compounds will change cancer from an acute disease to a chronic one and enable a person to live a full and productive life. With today's Focus on Health, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson.